If you want to share your publisher file with someone else who does not have Microsoft Publisher installed on their computer, you can export it in different file formats. Now to do that, you can go to file right here and over here you can see that there's share as an option. And once you can do, the, once you choose this, you can see that you can send only the current page, or you can send the publisher file as an attachment itself. You can also send it as a PDF, which is um, a read-only format uh, by Adobe. Uh, so if you have Adobe Reader installed uh, in the computer, which is the most common format, you can actually send this as it is, just like this. And this is also useful for Mac operating systems. Uh, this one over here is XPS and is the Microsoft format similar to PDF. So if you're sending it to Microsoft Windows, then this may be uh, an option to choose as well. And once you click on it, uh, your Outlook will open and an attachment is already made so you can send it to someone else just like that. So I'm gonna go over here and if you want to just save it out, you can also just go to save as and over here, I can save it out on my desktop right here. And you can see that right now it is saved as a pub file, which is um, the file for publisher. You can save it as an XPS document, as you can see right here, or PDF, which is a common format. So you can go over here in options and choose what quality you want to maintain. So if you want minimum size to be sent through email, you can just choose minimum size. And if you want printing quality, you can go for com commercial press or high quality. So that depends. So a high quality press actually preserves a lot of details while minimum size uh, loses most of the details, but still is readable for online, um, readable and is good for online sharing. So I'm just going to choose this I'm gonna press OK and I'm going to save this out. So it saves it out and you can see that now I can use my uh, Acrobat DC right here to see the PDF file. It's like that. And you can see that some of the quality is actually lost because I saved it as an email format with a lower quality format. But anyways, everything is there. So that is how you can share documents with people who don't have Microsoft Publisher installed in their computers. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.